Hello viewers, welcome to this exciting video. In this video, we will be looking at the November 2020 Science Paper 1, question B3. Question B3 reads, figure B3.1 below is a diagram showing a load being moved using a wheelbarrow. Figure B3.1 below is a diagram showing a load being moved using a wheelbarrow. So this is our diagram. Okay, let me just a quick, uh, a quick uh, pre uh, pick of the diagram. So we have the load there pointing at this point. So that is the load. Then we have the handle there. That is the handle right there. So we have the handle, we have the load there, okay? And we have a force F there, okay? And we have a weight, I don't know if it's a weight, W there. And we are told that we have a wheel there and the distance from the center of the wheel there, okay? To W is 1.5 meters and from W to F, Oh, from the center of the wheel to W it's 0 0.5 meters and from W to the force F it's 1.5 meters. So this is uh, the diagram, the wheelbarrow. So now let's now look at uh, the questions. Uh, the total mass of the wheelbarrow and the load is 80 kilograms. The total mass of the wheelbarrow and the load is 80 kilograms. Take G to be equal to 10 newtons per kilograms. Take G to be equal to 10 newtons per kilograms. A, calculate A1, weight of the wheelbarrow and the load. Weight of the wheelbarrow and the load. So, uh, weight is a force. Uh -huh. And the good part is that with this force, the acceleration is constant and we take it to be the acceleration due to gravity, which we've been given as 10 newtons per kilograms. So weight, weight W is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. So the, in the question, we have been told that the mass the mass of the wheelbarrow and the load is 80 kilograms. So here we have mass is equal to 80 kilograms. Okay. Mass is equal to 80 kilograms. All right. So weight is equal to mg. So weight is equal to mass, which is 80 multiply by 10 which is the acceleration due to gravity so the weight is equal to 80 times 10 is 800 remember weight is a force therefore the units are newtons so the weight is 800 newtons so we will have 800 newtons there and then uh, we are done. Then we go to A2. A2. Okay. Force F required to lift the wheelbarrow. Force F required to lift the wheelbarrow. All right. Now, if we, if we critically look at the wheelbarrow, the wheelbarrow, remember, is a lever and levers we use moments to calculate uh, forces that actually act on a lever so what we have is that on the wheel here this is where our pivot pivot will be so this is where our pivot or fulcrum will be this is the turning point no wonder all measurements are taken from the center of the wheelbarrow so what we can do is 
we can simplify this whole thing in just having a single beam like that okay having a single beam so we can have just a single beam there with a pivot there so we have our pivot there then we have our weight w there then we have our force f there now how far so you can now see that this force f causes the wheelbarrow to turn in the anti-clockwise direction while the weight w causes it to turn in the clockwise direction therefore the weight will produce clockwise a clockwise moment and the force f will produce an anti-clockwise moment so now we can just start looking at the distances how far is the weight now we know that our weight is 800 newtons and from the pivot it is 0 0.5 meters from the pivot okay so we are now going to actually tackle this so we know that from the principle of moments we know that the sum of clockwise moments is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moment so what we are going to have here is that we are going to have our weight w which is 800 newtons being multiplied by the 0 0.5 wow f the force f will be multiplied by 1.5 plus 0 0.5 which is the distance from there up to there okay so this force f is 1.5 plus 0 0.5 meters from the pivot all right so uh-huh we can now start so this is our diagram so the pivot is there the weight w which is 800 now newtons is there and our force f is there so we have this situation where this is 0 0.5 these are meters and up to that point there we have 1.5 all these are meters so anti-clockwise moment clockwise moment so what we are now going to do is we are now going to say that sum of clockwise moments is equal to sum of anti-clockwise moment luckily there is only one moment in the clockwise and one moment in the anti-clockwise so we are now going to say that uh, 800 multiplied by okay 800 multiplied by 0 0.5 is equal to uh, f multiplied by what is 1.5 plus 0 0.5 it's 2 so 2 so we are now going to have 800 multiplied by 0 0.5 is 400 and 2 times f is 2 f so divide by 2 divide by 2 so the 2 cancel 2 into 2 1 2 into 400 is 200 so f is equal to 200 newtons so our f is 200 newtons so we are going to write here that it's 200 newtons it's 200 newtons all right so every time you are answering you are calculating something in physics always show your working always show your working okay uh, don't just rush write your working on a separate answer sheet and only go and write the answer in the space provided uh, that is very dangerous all right we now move to b b state whether f would increase or reduce when the handles of the wheelbarrow are made longer state whether f force f would increase or reduce when the handles of the wheelbarrow are made longer now uh, the feather the feather the force the feather the force is from the pivot the smaller the force will be to produce 
uh, the same moment. So if the handles are made longer, it means the force now acts further from the, from the pivot, meaning that the force will reduce to produce the same moment. So here they are just saying state. They are not saying state and explain. So stating we are just going to make a single comment. Is it increasing or is it reducing? So we are just going to state that the force, the force F will reduce. That's all. Okay. So the force F will reduce. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and if you like the video, don't forget to actually give it a thumbs up and leave any comments that you have in the comment section. I will gladly reply back to the comments. Thank you very much.